Walking in the snow is always so gorgeous, especially when it's like it is today with the ice stuck to the tree limbs and you've got a nice covering of snow. So you get all the contrasting between the dark, like those rocks right there, and the white of the snow. Everything looks prettier. Everything looks artistic. Everything stands out. So I'm almost 60 years old and I'm out here doing the things. I'm walking down to feed my ducks. You got to keep moving, folks. You got to have interests. You want to be a more than one dimensional human being. The more dimensions you add, the more you flex your mind and your body, the better off you'll be. So this morning, I want to talk to you about tsunamis because yesterday, <clears throat> I think it was Yahoo News maybe, offered me a video taken by a 15 year old in Japan during the big tsunami that caused the nuclear meltdown and so on. And I could see when I watched it why it didn't make the news, why you didn't see it. It's about 23 minutes long and what struck me while this young man was filming was one uh, right after the the uh, warnings came out he's down by the water and he's saying he's not going to go anywhere like he wants to stay there and, and film it and there's a few people around him i'm assuming they're older they look older saying no we want to get to high ground and he's talking about oh look at the waves and so on and there's a little wall around this bay and the water in the beginning of the film you can kind of see it draw out there's there's boats um that are tied down and you can see the water receding and how these boats are kind of moving it's not dramatic though that's the thing about this video none of this stuff that happens is dramatic which is why i think it didn't wind up being put on the news and the length of it but the boats slowly move away from this young man out of the bay, out towards the bay, which would go out to the ocean. And then all of a sudden, you can see the water rising against this little short wall. And as the young man sees this water rising, he starts going, oh, oh. Because it, it's not like the dramatic huge wave thing that you see that just starts sweeping everything. Here's my bench for today covered in snow bench thing that you see in the news videos that just kind of engulfs everything in its path this is more like if you've suddenly started filling your bathtub on the highest um, amount of water that your faucet could put out suddenly the water level just is steadily rising and so it he first starts realizing hey he may want to move when it breaches that wall which is you know maybe two and a half foot and a half deep or tall um and then it starts to come over the top of that wall as it would you know it's pouring but it's not it's not frothing it's not a, like white watering over the wall it just starts to pour over and so he starts moving and pretty soon you can't see the wall at all and the water rises quickly but steadily and the next thing you see are things floating out of houses and they start commenting <clears throat> oh um you know it's in that house it's on that house it's it's going through that house and you see all these household items plastics mostly starting to float out and then you notice the the water on the house like first it's at the doorstep then it's at the windowsill then it's at the roof and then you hear all these noises of the houses creaking and cracking as they come off of their foundations and the water has lifted and moved all these boats and then it whirlpools kind of out in front of him not fast again it's not dramatic it's not like a disney movie it's slow but it's slowly grinding all the boats and the houses together in this whirlpool and you can hear all that cracking and creaking and then you start seeing cars floating because they're upstream of this uh the 
the bay. They're kind of uphill a little bit. And so the cars start, start getting taken over and then they start floating and then they get pulled into that whirlpool. And the young man, he finally figures out, you know, he's got to go even higher. And so he and the people around him go up on this hill and he's filming from up on the hill. And the water doesn't come up to him, but it definitely goes over the top of this little, uh, it's not a temple, but it's, it's some kind of religious statuette. Uh, it, you see it in the beginning and by the end it's completely covered in water. So you know the water rose at least 8, 10, 12 feet. And it was dramatic. I mean, literally you were wash, wa the, watching this water wash away the lives of everyone who lived in that little village. There went their houses, there went their cars, there went their belongings. Everything they knew completely washed away. And then not, not that long after, it went back down. The, uh, the level of the water started to go back down. And so in the matter of a few minutes, their lives were trashed and then gently put back down on the ground and this huge mess left for them. And I found that compelling. Something else I found <clears throat> compelling in that video was one of the bystanders says off camera, um, is this the end? And I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting. I'm sure that person was talking about, is this the end of the tidal wave? Is the tidal wave crested and is it going to withdraw now? But in our conspiracy theory, end of the world, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Not neighborhood um, community. I think there'd be plenty of us saying, is this the end end, the real end? And that brought forth the idea that so many of us are used to the Hollywood version of an end to a character um, being something dramatic with explosions and gunfire and, and people scurrying about very hurriedly some sort of very urgent situation. Yeah, sorry, I'm trying to find a place to be stable that's not covered in snow. I guess that might work right there. Yeah, that works better. Um, is that the end? Will the end be something like this just slowly creeping tidal wave that's inevitable, overwhelming, and your best efforts to fight it are not going to, to work? Or is that end something you could fight, say, and just keep climbing higher and higher and getting out of the path of this uh, tsunami? Which goes along with the proverb of the prudent man sees the danger and hides himself from it. So that was one of the thoughts I had. And then I have one more demonstration I want to show you in the next part of the video. I put a little bit more water in here just so you could see the wave when it moves back and forth across and how it balances out. And then I've got the water again. I had to put more in here because it wouldn't sit with, it's not heavy enough to stay down. Make sure I get this a little bit more straight. There we go. And then See how much each cup moved with that one? Just imagine that on the scale of the ocean and the continents. It's pretty impressive. 